So the goal here is flexibility. If you want to have your 500, your 580, and your 430, you can have it all. This is Fernando with Diesel Control Service. What I have behind me is a DDEC4 running at 1800 RPM, and it has one of our newest programs on it, the Triple Play program. It actually has three different settings, three power settings. And the only thing that you need is the program and a rotary switch. No other devices or boxes or um, cheater harnesses are involved. So all of the sensors are feeding the ECM with proper data. You're actually sending a command to the ECM with the switch to change ratings. So if you have a bunch of drivers and some of them you'd rather not have as much power as the others, you can install ignition switch, run this program, and then you have the key to choose which rating you want them to be able to drive with. I'll show you an example of the triple play program at work. Right now, it's running in stock settings. Whenever I switch to economy, there's a slight timing shift. These other devices out there that are generic devices that add power, they can't control your timing. Over here, this is the economy program I just switched to. So this is gonna be best for light loads when you don't need a lot of power and you're just looking for the best fuel mileage you can get. It will not give you a whole lot of fuel though because it's advancing the timing and that is so the engine life is preserved and of course so you don't produce a whole lot of NOx which actually contrary to popular belief is not a good thing. EPA aside, a lot of NOx means a lot of cylinder pressure and newer engines especially can't take a lot of cylinder pressure. So you don't want a lot of NOx or else you're gonna have real big problems. You can add more power, but you need to make sure you're not gonna hurt the engine. And the way to do that is to retard the timing a little bit. As long as your combustion's hot enough, you can do that. You won't get a lot of smoke and particulates, and you won't hurt the engine. Because exhaust gas temperature is one thing, but the real temperature problem happens at top dead center. This is back in the stock position. And that's the power program. And as you can see, I'm shifting this while the engine is running, while you're on the fly. It can be switched at any time. I about doubled pulse width there just to make it easier to see so you can hear the difference. The kind of pulse width I'm making here on the power side would be something along the lines of 900 horsepower. Each engine family is a little bit different. So I'm gonna need to know what your engine family is before we know exactly what we can do. generic products that are just made for um, you know a DDEC 4 without considering what engine family it's in, what camshaft it has, uh, compression ratio, even displacement. Now, there's a lot of products out there that don't even consider that but yet add pulse width. 